Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Two days ago, I made a video regarding the two US Navy SEALs missing uh, by the coast of Somalia. Remember that one? Well, if you don't, here it is. So uh, I said two Navy SEALs missing during a boarding operation in the Gulf of Aden, Yemen plus Somalia. What happened? Well, obviously, in that article, the Americans were cheap in uh, the information provided, but I suspected that uh, it was a special operation against some Iranians or Houthis or something like this. They didn't mention that. They said, well, it's a uh, procedure, it's an operation, nothing special. And in that video, I was claiming that <clears throat> I don't think so. I think they were uh, doing something that they were not supposed to and probably they got shot or maybe just, you know, fell in the water. And since they're seals, they drowned. They couldn't swim. All right, so now I have the confirmation that what I said was this close to what actually happened. And what they said, it was this close to what really happened. Now let me show you this uh, article and some maps all ready for you, my friends. Let's start with the Associated Press. <laughs> Can't make shit up. With the Associated Press, right here. And this is from January 15th, 2024. Ships and aircraft search for two Navy SEALs missing after a mission to confiscate Iranian missile parts. So this American Navy SEALs, in the name of some sanctions imposed on Iran by some people, not by us, by some people for certain kind of interest, for the good, you know, for the good, because they fight in the name of the good and they use us to fight them in the name of the good. All right. So these guys lost their lives. Why? Because they were trying to board a foreign country's um, ship carrying something that we disagree. Now, when the Iranians do the same thing to us, no, that's wrong. When we do it, it's right. Why? Because we are the good and they are the evil. They proclaimed, not you and I, they, the guys in charge of you and I. They use our resources, our military, our country's resources in order to do what? Send and, how do you call it, uh, promote their agenda. Let's see what the hell happened here. They got the map here and you can bet that all this thing happened all legal, all legal, nothing illegal. Everything was just like that. So it says here, Washington, U.S. Navy ships and aircraft com combed areas of the Gulf, Gulf of Aden for two missing U.S. Navy SEALs on Monday as details emerge about their mission to board and take over a vessel carrying components for medium-range Iranian ballistic missiles headed for Somalia, a U.S. defense official said. I don't think so. I don't believe that. I don't know that. Because these guys are telling me that they were trying to do this, prevent the Iranians from arming Somalia, I personally don't believe squat what these guys are telling me. Remember, we are the good, they are the evil. And they continue to give, in, give us a narrative. Is it true? If, if, what if it's true? Well, we place sanctions on them. Uh, they broke the law because we don't. Who has illegal troops deployed in Syria again? Who, who sucks Syrian oil from uh, their northeast of the country? It's these guys with our military. And then those guys are going to hit us, you and I. What are these guys going to say? Well, we told you. We told you those guys are bad. We protected you, but now we're going to fuck them up in your name. Such garbage. It's not us. They use uh, us as hamsters, as little mice on the little spinning wheel. Prr, 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 prr. Whenever you go to work, whenever you consume, whenever you pay your taxes, that's exactly what the fuck you are. And I as well. And if you, and if you unfortunately have sons and daughters, they go to fight for these guys uh, and they think they fight for the good. Then again, mice. Not all of them, but the problem is 
the head is venomous, the head. And that head is not our head, it's someone else's head. They just use us, my friends. So, the officials said crew on the Doe, which did not have a country flag, were planning to transfer the missile. So, they are basically bad people. And these guys, the SEALs were on the USS Lewis B. Puller, 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 <laughs> a Navy Expeditionary Sea Base vessel, and traveled in small special operations combat craft driven by Naval Special Warfare crew to get to the boat. Basically, you know, illegally invaded. Uh, that's, how we call, uh, that's the word I like to use now. As they were boating it in rough seas around 8 p.m. local time, one seal got knocked off by high waves and a teammate went in after him. Both are missing. Is it possible? I'm just giving this scenario. Is it possible? I'm not saying that's, that. I'm not saying that's what happened. But the same thing, the same question I asked in the other video. Is it possible that those guys on that vessel had weapons and maybe they shot the Navy SEALs and they died and then they drawn? Is it possible? Is it possible that those guys thought that these guys were just pirates, which I don't think so? Or they just fell? Oh, and the other one, oh, wait, I'm coming. Do you think that's what happened? I don't believe anything these guys tell me. So when they tell me that, I can tell you the same thing with the same authority. Uh, I personally did not lie you whatsoever. Those guys, Pentagon, lied to you many times before. So let's go back here. The team boarding the small boats was facing about a dozen crew members. What do you mean that was facing? That means the guys were shooting at them, were facing. The crew members who were taken into custody had no paperwork which allowed the search for the vessel. The weapons were confiscated and the boat was sunk. Evidence? No more. They got on video. Will you ever see it? No, and if you see it, you see it edited. A routine procedure that usually involves blowing open holes in the hull. The US officials have said that the waters on the Gulf of Aden are warm and Navy SEALs are trained for such an emergencies. On mining, Navy ships, helicopters and drones were involved in the ongoing search. The US Navy has conducted regular interdiction missions in the region, also intercepting weapons on ships that were, okay, we're, these guys are bad, we're good, we got that one. Now let's see here. Let's look at the map. They said, it's in the Gulf of Aden, right? Now, this shows something else. It says, map shows the Kenya-Somalia coastline and disputed area. A US official says Navy ships and aircraft are combing areas of the Gulf of Papapa -pa -pa for two missing. The SEALs were trying to board and take over a vessel carrying co components. Pa -pa 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 -pa. Miles headed for Somalia days ago. Monday, pop, pop, pop. Now you see, they said they they were looking at the border at the Gulf of Ad Aden, if you remember correctly. The same was in this one right here. Boarding operation in the Gulf of Aden. You see that map over there? That map over there doesn't is not the Gulf of Aden. I will show you where the Gulf of Aden is. You see over there the big map right here with Africa. That's not the Gulf of Aden. That's right here the Gulf of Aden between Somalia and Yemen. And I said, no, something happened over there. So how come they're looking for them right here? Just because the currents took them like, I don't know, 5,000 miles already? Bull fucking shit. Right here. This is the Gulf of Aden, my friends. Right here. What are they doing there? What are they doing where they show right here? At the coast where Somalia and Kenya this is where so, so my maritime papa in this area right here. There's not the Gulf of Aden, my friends, right here. This is where it's at. No, I think it was something else, and these guys are gonna give us little by little, and then they stop not telling us the truth, obviously. I think it happened here. I think it was a failed operation. Blah 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 blah. We took that, we sunk the 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 boat, no more evidence, and we got the missiles. Pop pop pop, tararap, rup rup. That's what it was. Next one. Right there. You see over there? Now this is Yemen and Somalia. In between here is the Gulf of Aden. Right there. That's what it is. It's not down here. It's not down 
fucking here. Um, oh, sorry. Let's put escape. All right, so it's not where these guys are showing us on the map. You got that? It's not there. It's north, way north, way north, right here. So again, no surprise here. It's just the the story I'm telling you, not a story, the example I'm giving you when these guys, I, I said it many times, so bear with me for the, the ones that never watched my videos regarding this uh, uh, example or analogy. This is what it is. Let's say they make an article on the glasses, a pair of glasses, but they don't want to tell you the bad stuff about the glasses because let's say these glasses are $5,000, but they don't want to tell you that. They say, well, they're beautiful glasses. Oh my God, they're perfect. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. But they don't tell you the price, which is, I think, very important in your determination to buy it or not. And then when they talk about this, or an article, make an article about an iPad, and say, well, when you read this for old people like Emil, they can use these glasses. But you know what? These glasses cost $5,000. Say what? Yeah, because in the article referring to this, talking about this, they didn't give you that information. You get the information from this article, unrelated to the glasses. They were talking about the iPad. But in the iPad, they mentioned this. And that's how you find out how much this garbage costs. The same with this cost. The same, with this, uh, the same thing with this many things I found like that. You have the article about an, the two guys just fail and the other one uh, procedure, basic procedure, bleh, jump after and help him. And probably, you know, they're still floating somewhere. Uh, maybe they're in uh, Antarctica right now. That's how the story goes. And then you, are, you find out on this one that actually it was not in the, straight, in the uh, Gulf of Aden, which again, they said it in this, in, in this, in this um, article. And you find out more and more and more. It's much more than they tell you right now. Now, obviously, they will not tell us more than this. It was an operation. I think it was a failed operation. I suspect uh, that is, doesn't mean it's true. I suspect that it was in the Gulf of Aden. I suspect it was about something with Yemen. I suspect they tried an operation. I, I suspect it was a failure and they made a story up. That's maybe it's like that, like the Gulf of Tonkin lie that <clears throat> the Pentagon did. So trust me more than those guys. But I'm not saying that's what happened. Like Pentagon tells you that's what happened, right? So skepticism what, in what they say and skepticism in what I say. But so far, I have more credibility than a Pentagon uh, lied uh, years uh, distance. All right, my friend, here it is. So little by little, I will keep an eye on this, but <laughs> I have to find out now. They talked about this and then I found a little bit of information when they talked about this. What's going to be next? They're going to talk about what? Uh, eyes in general. And from the eyes, they're going to go to this. And from this, they're going to mention the price of this again or what? Going to get more information? Exactly. So some information that these guys will bring, more information, I might just pass by me because I don't know what the hell uh, article should I get to get the price of these guys because they didn't tell me in this specific article. Garbage. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.